I grew up in Lafayette, uh, pretty much just directly across from the baseball field over on Poland Hill and I uh, went to Catholic schools my whole life, St. Mary, St. Boniface and then Central Catholic so I graduated from here actually. And then uh, after uh, high school I attended Purdue University and got a bachelor's in uh, education, fine arts and uh, art history. I like sports, Purdue, um, pro sports, I like to draw and uh, do some painting, read, uh, different hobbies like that. And I coach, I coach uh, junior high football and wrestling and also varsity wrestling, so that takes a lot of my time. I have uh, four brothers and a sister. Uh, we were kind of a close family growing up. Uh, my mother passed when I was nine. My dad kind of led us and so we always had good family functions and he was kind of self-educated and he was always hammering home education and he always encouraged my art. Um, so he was a big uh, influence on me just to uh, expand on my art knowledge and, and get into education in that way. My art teacher at Central Catholic was uh, Jill Baker and she kind of inspired me to uh, kind of go after a teaching degree. You know, how she taught her classes and how she ran her classes, it, it really led me to something that I wanted to do. For me, I graduated from Purdue and I came down with uh, cancer. So for five years I, I battled that on and off and so that kind of gave me a little perspective when I first stepped into a classroom. It, at that point I wasn't intimidated by a lot of things um, so stepping into a classroom is something that I, I really wanted to do especially after uh, recovering from that. Students uh, they get stressed out about testing a lot, get stressed out of exams. I try to tell them that you're going to be okay and I try to make my classroom a, a place kind of a safe environment kind of a a relaxed, more um, friendly environment and, and kind of uh, throwing a lot of things at them and I think kids come in and appreciate that, that they can come in and work on a project and just kind of relax, listen to music they want to um, or talk with their friends as they work. So I think an art classroom in, in a way should be more in, kind of inviting like that. In art, the questions aren't always going to be 2 plus 2 equals 4, 2 plus 2 could equal 10 or, or you know, negative four or whatever. So seeing them within the parameters of an assignment really put their self into it, it's really neat to see that. And you can see that sometimes when a kid discovers that just a few strokes of color um, can just magically transform a painting and they, they understand that uh, that concept of, of that color working with form and shape and, and how they create a piece of art is really neat to see. Every day I think it's a different day. You come in, and um, you're not only a teacher, sometimes you're your mentor, um, sometimes you act like kind of the role of a parent or uh, uh, sometimes even a friend. Um, it, it's never the same. Um, different challenges like that, I think, is what draws me into it. When teaching at a Catholic school, you know, you, want, you have to be here kind of, uh, you know, you want to be here. It's not so much a, a job as a kind of a, uh, a fellowship or a calling to do, I think, in teaching in a smaller school like this. And I think a lot of teachers understand that and they're here to work together and make this the best place for our students. So I really appreciate the Golden Apple. When I first started here, we had a teacher receive it and I'm like, well, I'll probably never get one of those. It's really neat to kind of see a teacher get that and, and to see the years that they put in and um, the hard work they have. And for me to get it, it, it just, amazes me that um, the faculty and staff and administration have that much confidence in me and, and know that I'm doing a great job. Um, and just to see the kids' reaction when I came in and uh, see them cheering, it just, just brings it all home. I, I'm really fortunate that I, I took this role as a teacher uh, because I see these kids grow every day and it's really exciting to see them. I not only watch them in the classroom and work with them, but see them in their sporting events and plays and musicals, it's, it's really neat to see them blossom as young adults.